We are in Pasadena, California for BotCon 2014. It's the 30th anniversary of the Transformers. We are a week away from Transformers Age of Extinction coming out next week, the fourth in Michael Bay's franchise of movies. We have Transformers fans from all over the country who are here for the 30th anniversary. We've got Hasbro coming out with some new toys. We're checking out some awesome exhibits. Let's check out BotCon 2014. Now, I know I was supposed to be working while I was at BotCon, but as a Transformers fan, I kept walking the floor and finding things that I wanted to buy, and then I ran into these guys. We are at BotCon 2014 with Ben and John from Hasbro, and they just finished the new panel for the toys that are coming out in conjunction with Transformers Age of Extinction. Of the new stuff you just unveiled in the panel, what do you think uh, the fans are clamoring for most? Uh, it's, it's a clear giveaway. The, the female Femboss is huge. Chromia and RC, huge hit. They've been asking for it for years. Now, you and I were talking off camera. Uh, Transformers have evolved so much from yes. G1 through Beast Wars, Machine Wars, up to you know the movie uh, uh, universes. Uh, what do you see in Transformers fans uh, that's different from any other fans? Well, I think um, what's exciting about Transformers fans is they, they are so used to the brand evolving and changing over the years. And I think Transformers in their very nature change. They change from robot to vehicle, robot to jet, or robot to dinosaur. And so as the brand changes, the fan base grows, everything gets bigger. I think the fans are, are really interested in the granular nature of the brand. And when people come together like this and they start sharing stories, they start, to, you know, they start to talk about things they like, I think it's amazing how open the culture of Transformers is to new things and, and it's just really cool to be a part of that. Hardcore Transformers fans know that BotCon is the place to go to get their hands on classic Transformers toys, BotCon exclusives, hard to find collectibles, or just to get their fan on. I'm Sentinel Prime, not Father Christmas, not Gandalf, Sentinel Prime. With the accent and all, and if you've ever asked the question, the answer is yes, Autobots do use the toilet. As Transformers fans, favorite series? Animated. Uh, Beast Wars. Back in the day, come on. <laughs> That's Back in the day. <laughs> Back in the day for me. She just made me feel exceptionally old. Because uh, <laughs> this is the 30th anniversary. I was five when the Transformers came out. Wow. Which means, back in the day for me, you know, disco was kind of still good. <laughs> I'm with Eddie from TF Force here at BotCon 2014. Well, tell me about the stash. Is this an ode to Alpha Trion? <laughs> Uh, it's actually more of like a th uh, Thundercats going sword going on here. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, I see that. I yeah. see that. Yeah. All right, it cool. Started out last year and uh, just never went away. <laughs> this has been growing for a year. It's uh, since last November. Wow. Yeah. You're almost as bad as me, dude. This is my playoff beard from '97. <laughs> weak, weak. All right, so we're still at BotCon 2014, and I was just walking through the con, checking out the vendors, checking out the booths, and I stopped dead in my tracks because I saw that. Xavier? Yep. Tell me about this. So basically, it's been repainted, articulated. And you customized that? Yes, it's that, been customized. That yes. was your work. Now, you do a bunch of custom stuff. Can mm -hmm. fans, Transformers fans, get customized Transformers from you? Yes. Yes, I usually sell them through eBay. Basically, I pretty much I do work on demand, really. So know. they can request something specific. So, yes. so if I said, hey, look, I want mm -hmm. a customized scene of maybe say Hot Rod and RC on a very awkward first date, kind of maybe a Starbucks yeah. kind of thing. The little research and and budget, and, you know, also conscious about it. So definitely, I can give you a call. On that. Was that the weirdest like Transformer yeah. scene somebody's asked for? Mm -hmm. It'll I get think, weirder, man. Yeah. It'll get weirder. Yeah. So we're here with Eddie Chan from Toy Dojo. Now, what kind of exclusive stuff do you have here that you can't get anywhere else for Transformers collectors? Stuff. Well, we just got these in from uh, Japan. These are from the Tokyo Toy Show. This is a, a recolor of the masterpiece uh, Silver Street. Everybody here has uh, one focus, one love, and it's Transformers. And we are here with the man of the hour. Optimus Prime. So this is the 30th anniversary. Uh, you look really good. You don't look like a day over 600, I think you are. What? Yeah, well, you know, I work out a lot, so that helps. A lot of squats? Yeah. A lot of squats? Squat. You look good, Optimus. You look good. That's a wrap from BotCon 2014. We're going to walk the con floor. We're going to spend some money, get some collectibles, and then we're going to check out Transformers Age of Extinction opening in theaters June 27th. So until the next BotCon, let's roll out. <laughs>